Good morning, Walter. Um, so let's start by asking what does the trust do and what is its objective? Okay, the objective of the trust is to grow capital over time. We do that by investing in the best companies that we can find throughout the world. There's a secondary objective, which is to pay out a good dividend and to grow that dividend over time. And how do you go about achieving the objective? What is your investment style? I have an investment style that is based on change. I believe that the market is semi-efficient, uh, which means that the market does a reasonably good job at modeling and valuing the boring companies, the companies that do not change too much. Uh, but where the market struggles is when things do change. A change can be internal, there can be a restructuring of a company, there can be new products that are introduced, or change can be external. It can be that the industry structure within which a company operates changes, or the economic backdrop changes. The point is that when change occurs, uh, the market tends to struggle valuing that and modeling that. And that's we, when we take advantage. If we can model something that is different than, than what the market uh, believes, and positive surprises come true as the company reports numbers that are closer to what we think will happen, then stocks tend to get rewarded for that. Are there any limits or restrictions on where you can invest in the trust? Uh, there are some limits. Um, to start with, uh, I have to invest in a minimum of 50 different companies. That makes sure that the individual risk that you have per stock gets spread over a certain number of stocks. Um, and in technical terms, 50 stocks means that about 95% of your stock-specific risk is diversified. Similarly, I don't go over 80 stocks because you want to make sure that you continue to stick with your top convictions. Um, there's also some restrictions in terms of the regions that you can invest in and the sectors that you can invest in. Um, um, and those limits are set by an independent board of directors. Uh, that board of directors gets together uh, about six times a year to rediscuss these limits. But the most important thing is that, that they're there uh, for your risk management purposes, but that they give you enough freedom to go and find the best opportunities worldwide. Now, it's a global mandate that you have, and this trust historically has a, a large UK weighting. Is that changing at all? That has been changing. Um, the trust historically has been managed with a 50% UK, 50% global benchmark, and that has moved to 100% global benchmark. So over time, the weighting in the UK has come down and it'll continue to go down. Not because I don't think there's good opportunities within the UK, but just because there's equally good and even better opportunities in the rest of the world. Okay, and how long do you typically hold a, hold a stock? What's the, what's the average turnover? I tend to be a longer, term investment uh, uh, manager. Um, there's a good reason for that. I find that the market is increasingly getting shorter term oriented. Um, there's different market participants now with short term hedge funds and quant traders. There's also a lot more information to react to in this age of the internet and all the CNBC news. Um, so as more and more people compete for short term ideas, I think it makes sense to go and look at the longer term where there's less competition and therefore you'll find better investment ideas. Uh, longer term means about three years on average. That's where I start with my investment horizon. So in technical terms, that means I change the portfolio, change about a third of the portfolio uh, every year and I have a turnover of about 30%. And uh, do you adopt a team approach? Um, I do adopt a team approach. Of course, I spend 100% of my time on a global trust. Um, and I make all the final decisions, but I am backed up by a team of global fund managers. There are seven in total with experience over 150 years combined. They all work in a similar way and look for change-driven investment opportunities. Um, and aside from the global team, I also backed up by different regional teams within Henderson, by a strong risk team and by the independent uh, board of directors. Walter, thank you very much. Thank you.